Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part three of Let's Play Kickle Cubicle. I am Drago Thubin, and we are about to climb a vine. Well, not really. I guess the vine's just going to push us up, but the tomatoes told us to climb it. So, we're climbing it, quote unquote. So anyway, and we're about to jump on some clouds, too. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to face the first boss in the game, who is residing in the mythical castle of... Weird shapes and plus signs and jack o' lanterns. If any of you made jack o' lanterns that look like that, I think you need better parents. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, those are some pretty weird looking jack o' lanterns. Alright, now we got Koki. And he is the first boss, and he's one of those chicken guys, except a lot bigger, and he's just going to throw some ice blocks at us. Oh no, don't throw ice. Whatever shall I do if you throw ice? I guess I will kick it at you. Haha, -ha. for I am Kickle, the Kickle Master. Haha, -ha. three hits and he's dead. I love this music. It's so awesome. So heartwarming. It is the wonderful music of fantastic achievement. Because I just beat my first boss. And saved Princess Poompa. That sounds way too close to another, uh... <laughs> another name. But that's okay. So we're gonna head off to Fruitland now. After wonderful... Vegetable or whatever land. Okay, great. All right, now we're in fruit land, and we have to... Now, if you start off the level and they have some of these blocks here, you can just take them away just like you normally would take away one of your own uh, by using the same button that sets them. And then reset new ones because you need to. <laughs> Pretty much it. Now be careful of these guys, there's not a whole lot of room down there, so I would just wait up here for them to get by, instead of trying to work your way around them. And you can get the last one, you're done. And, and if anybody can tell me what the heck these things are that are flying around me right now, please, leave a message. Leave a comment, message me something. Let me know what the heck those things are, because I can't tell. I can't really tell. Alright, now this is a fun level. We got bombs everywhere. And basically what you gotta do is you gotta re-trap the bombs every time. Just re-trap the bombs. That's all you gotta do. So this is kind of a slow going level. As you re-trap and re-trap and re-trap. Whoa, whoa, that's not good. Okay. I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Alright. Kinda got ahead of myself there, but as long as I got them trapped, I'm, I'm good to go. and the green apples are flying around me and, and giving me good luck, I suppose. Ah, this is a fun level. The only thing this is, is killing enemies. Now you gotta watch out, because they kick beach balls at you. The clown guys. We're gonna see them in a few levels. Um, they're a nuisance, uh, at best. Um, their attack is very easy to avoid, and they die rather quickly. Um, and in this level, they spawn behind you. Um, so if you don't keep moving quickly, it's not a good thing. Um, now remember, you can always freeze uh, across paths and stuff, so don't you know? Don't be afraid to use that. Um, but level's pretty easy, and we got cherries now. Cherries and four lives. Okay. I need to stop using that word. Okay. Okay. Do that a lot for some reason. I don't know why. But, we're going to move on, and we're going to try to stop using OK. We will uh, have to place our columns here quickly um, to avoid getting shot by the uh, formidable gun turrets that are in the center of this area. Um, it's not too difficult. You just got to make sure that you're not trying to uh, run out there in the middle of everything. And guess what? Points are not worth it in this game, so it's time to go. And I'm going to move the mouse out of the corner of the screen. Sorry about that, guys. Wasn't even paying attention. But I'm not going to redo the whole video for it, so sorry. 
Okay, we got a teddy bear and we've got lots more springy things, so let's get cracking. Premise of this level. Springy things, path, good. Just don't get hit. Alright, one more. Whoa, that should have hit him. He's lucky. And I get grapes for it. Would someone like to peel me a grape, please? No. Those are people. Soylent Green is people! Okay, I'm getting way after I get. Anyhow. Alright, now these hammers are fun. Uh, what they do is, when you kick a block, which you'll see momentarily, it's going to go flying up and it's going to hit this end of the hammer. And the hammer is going to flip around like that and it's going to hit it the other direction. 90 degrees. So, uh, let's show you how it works. Pretty easy. Now, if you get hit by that hammer while it's spinning, you're going to die. If uh, you kick the block at one of the middle parts instead of anything else, it's just going to crack. So, you got to kick it at the head. Now, if you hit it... If you hit the head of the mallet instead of the, uh, the center or where you're actually supposed to hit it, it'll just stop in its tracks. So that's going to be useful later. But right now, all we're worried about is our dream bag down here. So let's get that and get the heck out of here. And get us some raspberry peoples. Raspberry friends. But so far, no one to talk to me in Fruitland. I feel so alone. I wonder what Kickle is. So everybody else is like a fruit, a vegetable, a, a cake, or a toy. Something like that. Whoa, I almost lost it there. Anywho, this level's pretty simple. Just go counterclockwise around it, and you'll be fine. Just as long as you don't break the blocks, which I've done before, being stupid. And we get some Florida oranges. Yay, and the Florida Oranges are going to talk to us. Fantastic. Palace sunk into the ocean with the princess. Hmm. The princess is underwater. I don't think she's doing too hot, but we'll see. Hopefully she's okay, but I don't know. I wouldn't do too well underwater for, I don't know, as long as I'm taken in this game. Alright, now we get cannons. Cannons are fun. You can kill cannons, and if they are capable of respawning in that level, they'll respawn. Um, and they love to shoot um, cannonballs at you. And the cannonballs act in much the same way that uh, that the uh, bombs do. So, just beware. Uh, and I wanted you to die so I could have you come out again. Um, there's no trick to the cannons, no trick to avoiding them, but they can kill themselves, as you see. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And those friggin' things again. Please, I'm begging somebody, tell me what that is. <sighs> Hopefully I will know someday, and I'll be able to uh, post something to uh, let you know what it is. But so far, uh, I got nothing. That's all we got for right now on Let's Play Kickle Cubicle, and I will see you next time.